I love to sing in my music room. We love to dance and whistle too. We love to sing in my music room. We love to play and play. or clap your hands and let's sing our hello song. Ready? Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. How are you today? Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Now it's time to play. Hello. Hello. Hello to you today. Yay! Great job, friends. Today in Sarah's music room, we are talking about insects. What are insects? Well, an insect is a type of animal. This type of animal has its skeleton on the outside. Our skeleton is on the inside. And you can always tell what an insect is. They're around everywhere outside by counting its legs and its body parts. An insect has six legs. Let's count to six, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. An insect always has six legs and three body parts. Let's count to three. One, two, three. Three body parts. A head, a thorax, that's in the middle, and an abdomen. Yes, that's how you can tell what an insect is. Hmm, let's take a look at this book. We're gonna read this book later. It's called Bugs Are Insects. Let's take a look at this insect. <gasps> is it an insect? What is this called? It's an ant. That's right. Ants are everywhere. Let's count this ant's legs. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> six legs. It might be an insect. Now let's count its body parts. Ready? There's its head. One, two, that's a thorax, and three, the abdomen. Three body parts. An ant is an insect. Let's sing one of my favorite songs about ants. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. Three by three, the little one stops to climb a 
tree. Everyone pretend you're climbing a tree. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. The little one stops to open the door. Everyone open a door, grab the doorknob, turn it. Hello! And they all go marching down to the ground and get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching by, by, by. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching by, by, by. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching by, by, by. The little one stops to take a dive. Let's go swimming. Let's go diving. Dive down in the water. Splash! And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Great singing, friends. So an ant is an insect. Hmm, let's take a look at our book again. Let's look at this. What is this? It's a spider. Is a spider an insect? Let's find out. Let's first count its legs. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, eight legs. That's two more legs than six. I don't know if this is an insect. Let's count its body parts. There's its head, one, and there's its body, two. It just has two body parts, not three. So a spider is not an insect. A spider is called an arachnid. Now arachnids and insects are related. They're both called arthropods because their skeletons are on the outside. Remember, our skeletons on the inside. Yes, so a spider is not an insect, but we can still sing a song about a spider. The insy mitzy spider went up the water spout. Sing with me. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again great singing again give yourself now that spiders are not insects. They're called arachnids. We're learning so much. What about bees? Bees are insects. They have six legs and three body parts. So do butterflies. Mm, we're going to learn all about different kinds of insects from our books coming up. But for right now, let's sing our I love you song. Think of someone you love and tell them I love you.
for our songbook. Our storybook today is called Bugs Are Insects by Anne Rockwell, illustrated by Steve Jenkins. We're gonna read this book instead of sing it today. There's a tiger beetle. Here's some ladybugs. There are many kinds of insects living all around us. Ants are insects. So are crickets and mosquitoes. So are butterflies and bees. Insects come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. They don't all look alike, but there's a way to tell if something is an insect. Count its legs. Count how many parts make up its body. Is a ladybug an insect? All insects have external skeletons. You have a hard skeleton inside with parts that move. Your skeleton holds you up and helps give your body its shape. But an insect has a hard skeleton on the outside with parts that move. The skeleton is like a shell around its body. It holds the insect up and gives its body its shape. A ladybug has an external skeleton. Does that mean it's an insect? Hmm. Maybe not. All insects have external skeletons, but not all animals with external skeletons are insects. Crabs, lobsters, shrimps, and scorpions have external skeletons too, but they are not insects. Many insects have two pairs of wings and a pair of antennae. Sometimes the antennae are long, like those of crickets or butterflies. Sometimes they are short, like those of beetles. But all insect bodies are divided into three parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. There are six legs attached to the thorax. Anything that has six legs and three body parts is an insect. A ladybug has six legs and three body parts. Is it an insect? Now look at a spider. Is it an insect? It has an external skeleton, but count its legs. How many does it have? Now count how many body parts it has. A spider has eight legs, not six. Its body is divided into two parts, not three. So it is not an insect. A spider is an arachnid. Scorpions and daddy long legs are arachnids too. Now we know that a ladybug is an insect, but is it really a bug? We sometimes call insects bugs. Many people think the two words mean the same thing, but they don't. A bug is an insect with a mouth like a beak and a head that forms a triangle. A stink bug is a bud. So is a bed bug. And so is a water strider, even though it doesn't have the word bug in its name. But a ladybug's mouth doesn't look like a beak. Its head isn't shaped like a triangle. A ladybug isn't a bug at all. It is a beetle. Beetles are insects with a pair of hard wings you can't see through that hides a second pair of clear wings. The hard wings make a straight line down the top of the abdomen when they are closed.
Different kinds of insects have different kinds of mouths to suck, pierce, bite, or chew. A mosquito has a mouth that can pierce your skin and draw blood. A butterfly has a long curled up mouth, part for sucking nectar from flowers, just like you suck juice through a straw. Different kinds of insects have different kinds of legs as well. Crickets have long back legs for jumping. Water boatmen have wide flat legs for paddling. Bees have fuzzy legs that can carry pollen from flower to flower. Grasshoppers have legs for making music. Some insects are good builders. Ants build tunnels. Bees build honeycombs of wax that comes from their bodies. Wasps build paper nests. These insects live in large communities where each helps the others. No matter what they look like or how they live, all insects have six legs and three body parts. Here are some of the creatures you might find in your backyard. Are they insects? Insects are all around, flying through the air, chewing on leaves, creeping through grass. Scientists think that there are more kinds of insects than there are kinds of fish or birds or any other animal in the world. Look in your own backyard and see how many insects you can find. And always remember to count their legs. The end. Wow, friends, what a book all about insects. I did not know that a bug is an insect, but an insect isn't necessarily a bug, and now I do. Well, friends, I hope you had a great time singing and talking and learning about insects. Maybe you can go out in your backyard and see what insect you can find and count its legs and body parts. Let's sing our goodbye song. Everyone grab your shakers or clap your hands. Ready? Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. We had fun and we played. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye to you today. Yay! See you next time.